Hello students, creating game is interesting. That too, when ourselves we write computer codings to create a game will be more interesting, isn't it? Now, as a learning process, we will create a Java game program which is called guessing number. Let me explain this game first. Computer generates a number within a range. Player should guess the number. So, the range may be given by the programmer. It can be set as we need. If the number guessed by player is not correct, then it gives a clue. The clue will be whether the number guessed is smaller or greater than the number it has. With this clue, again player should guess the number. This gets continued until the guessed number is correct. Finally, it rates you with stars. To take the input, we will import the scanner class import java dot util dot scanner class called guessing game i have written the main method here now I generate a random number using math class. So just I, I declare and assign the value in it. So I say int r is equal to a random number will give the double number. So I will make it into int. So I give explicit here int then math dot random of. So this will create a random number between 1 and 0. If we need in between 0 and 10, what I am going to do is, I am going to multiply this with 10 into 10, then plus 1. I terminate this. Now, I create a object for scanner class. Scanner SC is equal to new scanner of system dot in. Now I prompt the user to give the number. So I will write system dot out dot print of enter a positive number below 10. Now I will assign it int n is equal to sc dot next int of. If I want to give the ratings, I need to count how many chances the user used. For that, I will create a counter variable that is int c. So, in the beginning, it will be 1. Here, we need a loop because we do not know how many chances the user will take. So, when number of iterations are not known, we will be using while loop. So, I use while the number guessed by user is n is not equal to r which is the computer number. Then what it will do? Chance is counted here. So c++. If the number given by the user is smaller. So that is if n is smaller than r. Then what we say? System dot out dot print line of that is n given by the user plus is smaller I say. Else it will be greater. So I copy this and paste it here and write it here as greater. Now I will be asking to enter another number. So, let me just change this. Enter another number. Now, again I store it in the variable called n. 
is equal to sc dot next int of. Now these codes keep getting executed until the guessed number is number generated by the computer. Now we know how many chances the user has been taken. So we will code according to that the ratings. If the first chance itself it is right then we will give 5 star to the player. If the second chance is right then we will give 3 stars if third chance is taken and then one single star otherwise more than that it is been taken just we say you win. So let us write the code for that. So that will be outside the loop. If c is equal to equal to 1 then what we say system dot out dot print line of we will give 5 stars here 1 2 3 4 5 backslash n gives the new line and then say congratulations. So let us copy this and paste in case if it is 2 counts else if it is 2 count and then we will give 3 star. If it is 3 count then we will give 1 single star. So here is else if else we will give you win. Let us compile. There is no syntax error. Let us run this game. So let me enter a number. I enter 6. So first guess itself it is right. Congratulations. It came with 5 stars. So let me play once again. So now I give 4. 4 is smaller. So the number should be greater than 4. I guess with 8. 8 is greater. So it should be 5, 6, 7. Let me guess 7. Congratulations. So the third guess it was right. So it says one single star and congratulations. Students, I hope that you might have enjoyed this program. Keep watching my channel. Keep learning. Thank you.